Alright guys, essentially this is a short film's DVD commentary without the DVD. So 12 years ago I took a scene from The Unforgiven, directed by Clint Eastwood, having never seen the actual film, so I don't know the director's choices, but having read the script so I understand the story and the characters. And so what I did is I used camera moves in this scene where uh, money is being propositioned by the Schofield kid to go on a killing spree with him for money. And so let's take a look at the short film, the mistakes that I made, and the things I should learn from it as I prepare for my next project. Let's dive in. So you're Pete Sothow's nephew, huh? So all these camera moves, mostly well, the dolly shots, kill me. are done Some on I'd done in the old purpose. Days. I could've. Easy. Yeah, I guess so. Like I said, you don't look like no damn killer. And something I mis made a mistake on years later, not yeah, preparing yeah. as much. But this one I did. Uncle Pete said that you was the meanest, damnedest gunslinger ever lived. I love his reaction here. If I wanted a partner for killing, you'd be the worst one. Meaning the best. On account of your Look at his face, Sean's face. Snow Money's face. Ain't got no weak nerve nor fear. He said that, huh? Well, I am a damn killer. He didn't myself. sound too happy about it. It sounded like he was giving him a compliment, but you. he didn't take it as a compliment. Schofield kid, they call me. Schofield. Yeah. You from Schofield? He tries to change the conversation. No, uh, on account of my Schofield model Smith and Wesson pistol. And fails. Oh. This whole time we've been rotating around well, counterclockwise. By what? Be my partner. I'm going up north to Nebraska, gonna kill me a couple of no good cowboys. And now we're starting to see the door Four. here. That's on purpose. Cutting up a lady. We want to see with this one shot. We got to see the door open, which is going to happen in a second. Jeez. One thousand dollar reward. Five hundred apiece. Paul. Will, I'll be there in a minute. I almost got that pig move. Go check on the other pen. And I love this little girl's performance here. I directed her to do that, and I'm pretty proud of it. <laughs> just to stare at him for just a little bit longer as a curious person. And this moment here. This is where he finds his reason why. It's from the kids. And he looks up. That look up was really great. There's that there's that dolly shadow. I made a lot of mistakes on this project. My wife, she cured me of it. Of drinking and wickedness. And so You don't look so proud. The conversation's done. The dolly is supporting that. It's not gonna go anywhere. Schofield kid hasn't given up on it. She passed on, kid. And gone three years now. And he turns away, disengaging in the conversation, and the conversation's ended now. And it, it lingered for a little bit longer than it should have. I probably should have cut it off a half a second, maybe a couple seconds longer. You know, imperfect. There's a lot of things wrong with it. Let's go. Let's just go there. There's shadows. There's a boom shadow. There's a there's a dolly shadow. And I still picked this one. I still picked. There was a 15 different takes or so if I'm remembering correctly it's, it's been 12 years but like I still picked this one to uh, submit to class because it was the best one and despite all of those mistakes I feel like the choices that were and the, and the timing of how everything worked out perfectly here this was still the right one to make and it just shows you for me I think I did a good job and I'm, I'm oh I did an okay job I get a good job despite the mistakes. The turning and rotating around and the stopping and starts and the, the him finding his thought right there at that moment, those were all great moments. But I've got to do better, and I realized this in the last short that I just directed in May and we finished editing, is I need to slow down when it comes to evaluating shots and be very specific about details. And if I've made a mistake, I probably should have done 10 or 15 more of these uh, shots and gotten it where there was no boom shadow, there was none of that stuff, um, and all the things were perfectly timed. I needed to be very specific. What Maybe what I'm going to do next time so that I, I get better is I'm going to write things down, slow me down, and not just be thinking about I'm using everybody's time. Uh, I need to be faster and faster because I'm I can. I can go through a short film pretty fast uh, and, and shoot things pretty fast, but let's get the things right also. So let's, I gotta find a, a happier medium between the two of them. I'm going fast and getting everything right. 
thank goodness it didn't destroy my last film, but there were some missed opportunities. And there were some missed opportunities here as well. Um, I want to go back and do a couple of things. Pa! Will, I'll be there in a minute. I almost got that pig move. Go check on the other pen. In the original script, the little boy it curses to his dad. And I took that out because I, I didn't feel comfortable having a little boy curse. You know, maybe I'd do that if I was, if it was a big deal. This was a student project, so I didn't feel like I should do that. Um, but, um, and maybe it was a good, maybe that was, a, I think that maybe it was a good choice. But like, he curses to his dad, not because that's part of his regular language. In fact, I just think that's why we curse when we're younger. A lot of the time is we're just trying to pretend and show off to people. And here, the little boy would have been showing off to the Schofield kid. And I think what's great about that is also Money's reaction. I almost got that pig move. Go check on the other pen. Means so much more. His exasperation and saying, go check on the other pens. It's because not only of what he's saying, and he doesn't want him to be there for Schofield, but it's also because of the cursing. He doesn't want him to curse. And so I thought that would have been a really great moment for him to, and a great acting moment. So the whole thing of it rotating it around, that was good. Uh, and then the stop, and then the rotating in the opposite direction, really powerful. I think this is one of the first reasons why I started, I don't know why I decided to do a camera move and a one shot in, the, in my first thing. I think I was thinking about Children of Men. There's this one shot in Children of Men that's a one shot. I was thinking, oh, it'd be cool to do a one shot here if I'm remembering the night I took my notes properly. And so uh, this is when I got into camera moves. It's just my one of my first short films. And, um, and so uh, that's kind of why I do Dolly and Tamini for those first 25 or so movies as I talked about camera moves because they just are so powerful and so interesting and I wanted to take a, a deep dive into them obviously I made a lot of mistakes in this and I realized this on my last short I was beating myself up about the mistakes and missed really mostly missed opportunities and I kind of had to change my mind I changed the way I was thinking about things and say look I made mistakes these mistakes are opportunities and not failures and that I will do better on the next one. And so like going and keeping your head up so that you're going to the next project, but still learning from your past mistakes, that's an invaluable tool. So guys, take a look at the short itself without any commentary. So you can kind of see and get a feel for what the project is like without anyone talking over it. Uh, all right, guys, thanks for taking a look. Uh, let's get to watching the next uh, section. So you're Pete Sothow's nephew, huh? Hell, I thought you was someone come and kill me. Something I'd done in the old days. I could've. Easy. Yeah, I guess so. Like I said, you don't look like no damn killer. And maybe I ain't. Well, Uncle Pete said that you was the meanest, damnedest gunslinger ever lived. And if I wanted a partner for killing, you'd be the worst one. Meaning the best. On account of your cold as snow and ain't got no weak nerve nor fear. He said that, huh? Well, I am a damn killer myself. Only ain't killed so many as you on account of my youth. Schofield kid, they call me. Schofield? Yeah. You from Schofield? Well, no, uh, <laughs> on account of my Schofield model Smith & Wesson pistol. Oh. Well, how about it? About what? Be my partner. I'm going up north to Nebraska, gonna kill me a couple of no good cowboys. What for? Cutting up a lady. They cut up her face and cut her eyes out. Jeez. $1,000 reward. 500 apiece. Pa! Will, I'll be there in a minute. Go check on the other pen. Oh. 
I'm not like that anymore, mister. The whiskey had done as much as anything. My wife, she cured me of it. Of drinking and wickedness. You don't look so prosperous. Hell, you're half the money. You buy your wife a fancy dress. We'll go kill him too. We'll buy your wife one of the... She passed on, kid. What? Been gone three years now. Thank you.